Oh, it's so cute. The tape and the glue. Why do you have to scare me? But I told you guys that in episode two, I would be telling you what the small business is. Like, to my channel my name is Keisha if you're new here and thank you for clicking on this video so today's video is going to be episode two of my starting a small business series that I'm doing here on my channel so if you guys are new here make sure that you subscribe because I am so excited for the series and I have a lot of videos in mind that will be coming as part of the series so if it's something that you're interested in make sure that you subscribe Hair is not the vibe right now. So if you guys haven't seen the first episode in the series, I will have it linked up here for you. Make sure you check it out. I kind of give you some of the like background information of the business. But I told you guys that in episode two, I would be telling you what the small business is, like what I'm gonna be selling. And I asked you guys to comment in that video what you thought it was. And there were a lot of good guesses. There were quite a few different guesses, but a lot of people seem to kind of figure it out. I know some people said like candles or like prints, um, fashion, which I am not a fashion girl, so definitely would not be me. I thought it was creative. I saw a few people guess like dog supplies, dog toys, like something along those lines because of the name. If you guys didn't watch the first video, which you should, like I said, the name of my store is Novena and it's named after my dog that passed away two months ago, Nova. So I named after her. So I see where people guessed and that is honestly a really good guess. So, but that's not what I'm selling. But I did see quite a few people get it right. And I had some like Instagram DMs and some like texts from my friends being like, it's definitely this and it is. So, so Novena, www.shopnovena.com is going to be a home decor store, which I'm so excited for. I'm, uh So my vision for Shop Novena is for it to be a home decor store that, oh, well, I don't even wanna say home decor store because I do wanna branch out. So I'm gonna say like a home store. Basically my vision is that it's gonna be a home store that has, have all things that are like modern, minimal, trendy, things like that. And I say I don't want it to only be home decor because I've already like found different like kitchenware, like, um, like plates and cups and mugs and like different types of things that I want to also incorporate and like organization stuff that I wanna incorporate down the line, but Yes, it is a home store. It's mostly gonna be home decor. I have three items I'm gonna have for launch. I'm waiting for all of them to come in. So I don't have a set launch day. In my head, I'm thinking July 15th, because I should have all of the inventory in by then, and it should give me enough time to get the inventory and also get all the product photos and everything that I need. So that's like my tentative date. I'm Once I get a better idea of where everything is in the shipping process, I'll be able to really narrow down on a day, but that's, the date I have in my mind. So hopefully July 15th, it's a Friday. It's like halfway through the month. I think it's like a good day. So we will see about that. But yeah, I'm so excited. So for the first launch for launch day, we're gonna have a variety of four different vases, some fun shaped candles, and we're gonna have some like coffee table books, like the box version. I'm not, I don't know if you guys have seen them, but they're like, instead of paying like 50, 60, 70, $80 for like a designer book, um, you can now, you can buy like these like fake books that are just like boxes, but they look exactly like the book and for like a fraction of the cost. So we're gonna have some of those as well. So like I said, only a few of each right now, but as things progress, we're obviously gonna have a ton more items. I already have so many things picked out. I've already talked to so many suppliers 
and gotten quotes. So I'm so excited because there's gonna be so much cute stuff, but we have all of the items ordered for the first launch, which I'm very excited for. But yeah, so that's like the gist of the store. I actually did get some packages in the mail yesterday from Amazon. I started ordering some of the essentials that we're gonna need. So I wanted to unbox that with you guys. Some of the things aren't coming in yet, but yeah, so let me go get the boxes and we will do a little small business essential unboxing, which I'm so excited for. Okay. Okay, it is a little gloomy, so the lighting's not the most ideal, but yes, I have some boxes here. We're gonna open. First, I'll show you the most obvious thing because I'm like, who, why would they deliver it? I get not wasting packaging for like another box, but like you just left this on my porch. I'm like, it feel like it's weird to just like let the whole, everyone know like what <laughs> it is, but anyway. Yeah, so I got this printer, it's the HP. Also, side note, I will have all of this linked down below if anyone wants to check it out. But I got the HP DeskJet 2755E. Um, so we do have a printer, but it actually broke, like it just like stopped working. So <laughs> we have a broken printer, I should say. Um, so I need a new printer. I really wanted to get a label printer, but I knew I needed a regular printer to print out like invoices and, um, like stickers and stuff, like all this, the other supplies I'm gonna need that, and I knew that I can get like label paper for this printer, which I do have, so I'll show you guys that. Um, so I do want an actual label printer at some point, but it's just not worth the extra expense right now when I can do it on here. So there's so many things I want. I think I talked about this in the last video, but there's so many things I want, but there's just not, not everything's a priority at the moment. So we can make do, we can do literally the same thing on here. So I think this was like $80, so not a bad price. Love that it's white. I wonder if it comes with ink. We have black ink that I think from the other printer we can use and transfer, but I don't think we have any colored ink, so I'll probably have to buy some. This is so fun. I love watching people's like, um, like unboxing videos for their business or like small business essentials videos. So super excited for this. Okay, so first thing I got are these um, fragile stickers. I saw somebody use these in one of their videos and I like them. I'm not like a big pink person, but like I thought they were like a little cuter than like the red fragile stickers, which I get the red because it's like red, like. You know, they're, I think they're red because they stand out more and they're easier to see. But I think if I put a couple of these on the box, um, they'll be fine and they're cute. So they just say, please handle with love, fragile, thank you. This came with 200 stickers and it was definitely less than $10. So I thought these were cute. So we got those just because, like I said, shipping home decor and stuff, like most of it's gonna be fragile. So we wanna make sure that we have some fragile stickers on there. This is the shipping scale. So I got this digital postal scale. Um, everyone that I watch, I swear everyone online, I feel like everyone's theme is always like pink and everyone always has this like rose gold, like scale. This one I think is gold, let me see. And I think this was $25. Oh, Ooh, it came with batteries. We love to see it. I didn't even think about that. I'm so glad it came with batteries. Okay. This color is so pretty. Yeah. So this is my shipping scale, just this little gold one. Let's see if it'll focus, yes. Super pretty, especially because I want to leave it out, so I just wanted to make sure it like, kind of matched the vibe and the theme. I feel like there was like a wire thing that got dropped. I don't know, I'll find it, but it came with batteries and this, like a charging box. So that's why I'm assuming Oh, so I guess you can either probably have it plugged in or you can use the batteries. That's nice. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. No. Tape, oh yes, we got a two pack of these tape dispenser guns. I was down to just get regular tape, but um, Cody was like, it's probably gonna be a lot easier to get the gun and it really wasn't that expensive. I think it was like $15 or something for a two pack of them. So it comes with two guns and two rolls of tape already which is really nice. So now we can both have one or like if something happens to one, we have a backup, but you know, if we're both like packing orders one day, we both have one. So yeah, and I like that it, like I said, it wasn't a bad price for two big rolls of tape and the glue. Why do you have to scare me? 
yeah, so this is what those look like. So just do like a quick little boop, boop, because that's the sound that it makes, obviously. Um, but yeah, open up box number two. It's a box within a box. Wow. Oh, we got something else on the bottom. Okay, so first we got these vinyl sticker papers for the printer. So these are specifically for an inkjet printer. So I wanted to, like I said, it's, I would obviously one day love to have like custom packaging, but that's just not realistic starting out. I figured I could get this sticker paper and I could just like print like little stickers. And these is, this is on transparent paper too. So you can kind of see here. So basically I want to print little like logos once I finish the logo and stuff, print logos and be able to put those on the box. So it's just kind of like, it makes it look more like custom packaging without obviously having to pay to get custom packaging right now. But it comes with 20 transparent sheets. I think it was like $10 or something, but um, I don't need like a huge logo so I can probably fit quite a few on here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to obviously play around with like sizing and everything like that to maximize this as much as I can. But I thought that would be like a nice easy way to kind of like customize the packaging a little bit. It feels like Christmas, even though I paid for all of this. <laughs> oh, we got a box within a box that contains boxes. I really wanted to get just white boxes for shipping. So I showed you guys in the last video, I got some like priority flat rate boxes that I'll probably use if I get like bigger orders where it like makes sense to use like a flat rate sh shipping cost because flat rate's not always gonna be the cheapest option, but those are free. So I just decided to order a bunch, have them on hand. If I ever run out of boxes and just like need them, like I said, they're free. So I ordered a bunch of those, but I wanted to get regular boxes too. Sorry, I'm gonna talk over me ripping this. I wanted to get regular boxes too. So we got some white ones. I thought white would be cute. So I think we got two different sizes. So these are 25 of like a small, oh, these might be way too small. Oh, this might go back. <laughs> That's way too small. I wanted some small boxes. I didn't realize it would be that small. So those will probably get exchanged. Okay, last box. More boxes again. Okay, we got boxes and then, oh, these are the shipping labels. So these are half sheet self adhesive shipping labels. So it has two labels per sheet. So you just put them in, they are sticky. So you print off the shipping labels and then you just peel it off and stick it in the box. So these are self adhesive, which is nice. And I think, how many come in these? 250 sheets. And I think again, these were like, maybe around like 10 bucks. All right, let's see the size of these boxes. I hate doing returns and like exchanges, but this is why I wanted to order all this stuff in advance. So I have time to make sure everything is like how I want it. Okay, so these ones are a little bigger. So why did these look so tiny too? Oh, I did not do the job. Oh wait, this might be good. Oh man, oh man. Um. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, these are gonna have to go back. <laughs> these are not gonna work. Kinda sucks, but it's fine. It is what it is, so. Yeah, but everything else I'm excited for. So, um, well, I also told you guys in the last video that I want to kind of like rearrange things up in my office and make it more of like a workspace for the store. And like I have my one closet in my office that I use as like my get ready room, but I'm gonna move all that out and we're gonna use that for like an inventory storage space. So I kind of wanna go and kind of clean that out, take the desk out, kind of figure out the setup and then kind of get like the printer and stuff set up. So I think we're gonna do that today as well. And then that'll be probably the gist of all the small business things I'm gonna do today besides like working on the website and stuff. But I'm gonna see if I can return or exchange these boxes really quick, but I will see you guys upstairs. Okay, we're upstairs. Okay, so we're in my office. <laughs> Little disaster right now, but this is the closet that we're gonna use to kind of store all the inventory to start off with. So 
I want to empty it out. Um, and I mentioned that I was gonna bring like my makeup and stuff in the guest bathroom. Probably just keep it in this thing. So like if guests do come, I can easily take it out. So yeah, and then this desk in here, it's from Ikea. I need a new desk out here because <laughs> this one is like a table. I've been needing a new desk, but I just haven't done anything with my office. So I need a new desk. I really want to get rid of this couch. I might actually put this up sooner rather than later on Facebook and see if I can get rid of this. Honestly, I don't want it. So I really want to get rid of this and get like two chairs, get a new desk. This desk isn't bad. It's a little wonky because the one leg is like a little messed up. You'll I'll show you later. I'm sure you'll see. And the drawer is a little wonky, but it works. And again, it's one of those things like, yes, I want two new desks. So I figure this one I can keep for my computer so I can do other work and stuff on and just be like admin. And then that one I can use to like package orders. So I think I want to set it up over here and like put the printer, the scale on it. And then like, I can also pack orders on it. So that's kind of the thinking I had. I also have this cube I was going to get rid of. I took all the stuff off of it. So that's kind of just a mess right now, but I can also probably use that for some inventory stuff too or I'll just like to store something. So we're just kind of working with what we have for now. But yeah, that's the plan. So I think I'm gonna like move all that stuff out, move it into the bathroom. I also really wanna move the spin bike into the guest room. I don't really want it in here, but I guess it would <laughs> free up more space if we um, get rid of this couch. I think I'm gonna list it today. Like I said, I just don't want it anymore. I don't ever sit on it. I would probably sit in a chair more than I would sit on this couch. So I think, time for this to go. I want to see if we can get all this done in an hour so I can move on with a, a million other things I have to get done today. Probably need to sell this chair too. If you guys watch my video, I think it was during Vlogmas when I got my spin bike. Like they gave me a faulty handle. Why do I still have this? I have no idea. The hardest part is figuring out what to do with this stuff up here. Like I have like bulbs for my studio lights, iPad box. But yeah, I just have like random things up here like my actual studio lights and then like my iMac box. We have another closet that I can probably store this stuff in, honestly. Okay, I'm kind of debating. I can't decide if I want to put the desk here or since I want to get rid of this couch, I want to put it there. Like I figured that might be convenient. So then like times I'm like doing like labels and stuff in the computer, I can kind of go like, I mean, it's only across the room, so it's not going to make much of a difference but I kind of want it in front of this and I kind of want to get rid of these. I might just get photos of the couch and then kind of take it apart and just throw it in the guest room for the time being. Oh, I have to clean all this hair out, Callie girl. All right, we moved the couch in the guest room for now. Pretty solid, but yeah, like I said, no one ever comes to visit. So hopefully someone will come take it. Honestly, probably gonna put it up for like 200 and if I could even get like 150, I don't even care, I just wanna go on at this point. Callie apparently doesn't wanna say goodbye to the couch. <laughs> She's like one final rest on here. So I have to sweep that. So it's echoey in here now. I gotta clean this. I have to figure out, so this is embarrassing, but this nail polish or nail glue bottle <laughs> got stuck in here so long ago and I haven't been able to get it off, so. But yeah, this desk needs to be wiped down. Has some like marks here from nail polish glue because I suck. And then the drawer right now just have random stuff like pens and glue, random stuff. So I'll probably clean that out and then I can utilize these drawers, but yeah. I'm gonna go get the broom and get the stuff swept up. Now we're gonna drag the desk and put it over here. Perfect. So 
Now I'm gonna clean it off and try to get this little glue bottle off. It's stuck by the lid. Ooh, and there's part of the desk. So now I'm gonna bring in like the printer and everything and get that set up. Oh, it does come with some ink. Black and tricolor. Fine, then the Perfect. All right. You can do it. Oh, there we go. Nothing I hate more in this world than setting up stuff like this. If it's like setting up like an iPad or like a phone, cool, but like printers and things. Ugh. Oh, it's so cute. It's small. I love it. Definitely want to look into instant ink. I feel like I've heard of it, but I don't really know much about it. Beautiful. All right. So we're going to put this over here. Perfect. We can keep that here maybe and then I think that's all the stuff I have to go on top for now I want to get like um part of me wants to get like little bins to put up here to put like thank you cards and like that kind of stuff but now I'm thinking since I have these drawers I'll probably get some clear organizers and then like put it on there so like I can open it have like an acrylic container with like thank you cards and like one for business cards and stuff like that but yeah so that's what we got as the setup. Sorry, it's like really backlit. Yeah, and then I like leaving this open because then I can like put a box up here and it leaves room for like packing in order. So I think this is gonna work out very nicely. Now I need to <laughs> get all this and finish sweeping in here and like mopping and then that's pretty much, pretty much it. I'm not really sure how I wanna organize like boxes and stuff. Like I feel like I'm probably gonna end up getting some sort of like shelves in here to organize the inventory and then maybe like store like boxes and stuff up here. But that'll be another video. All right, got all the boxes from the USPS flat rate or oh my gosh, all the <laughs> flat rate boxes from USPS up here just for now until I get in the inventory. Like I said, we figure out how to best organize the space. I don't know if I'm gonna keep boxes in here or if I'm gonna find another place for them. I guess we'll kind of, we'll see. But yeah, I think that's all I have for today's video. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, and if you are enjoying the series, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.